You know, entrepreneurship is a funny game. It's, it's, it's all about bringing things into reality that, have, that don't exist yet, that, are, that only exist in your imagination, and that only have no basis in reality, and that you're trying to pull and make real and make tangible. It's about vision. And that's, it's about identity, and that's where I was. You know? So I grew up you know, having the, uh, the, the childhood that most people wish that they had. I was the son of the CEO of a publicly traded company that my grandfather had founded. It was a, it was a, it was a family company. There was generational wealth. I remember, you know, we took the, uh, the company private jet to Disney World. You know, we, uh, you know, we had the big house, you know, the mansion. We had the, the, the cars and the, the fancy things. And, you know, so my identity was built around that. You know, my identity as a, as a leader, as, 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 a, as a kid, was built around being the rich kid. And one day, you know, it all collapsed. And it, it, it collapsed catastrophically. So we went from, you know, being wealthy and well off to all of it being gone and taken away. We went from rich to poor. And not only did it hit financially, but it also hit, you know, on a family level. You know, there were some terrible things that happened within the family that, you know, led to me never speaking to my grandfather again before he died. And as a result of that, as a fallout of that, you know, I was, you know, as a kid, I didn't know how to process any of that. You know, I had lost my identity. I had lost my way. I was, you know, no longer, you know, who I thought I was. And, you know, this led to me being very, you know, like depressed. You know, led to me, you know, and if I wasn't depressed, I was angry. You know, just, just going back and forth. I didn't know how to process the world anymore. You know, it was just being lost in the dark without any direction to go in or anything like that. So one of the things that came about through all this was we'd actually managed to hold on to a computer. So this was an old Gateway 2000. It didn't even have a CD drive. It had a floppy disk drive attached to it. And one of the big floppy drives, it could literally like, you know, like it would flop. And I remember I would turn on this computer and just all of a sudden have access to this world that was entirely different from the real world. It was a world where if I could imagine something and code it and create it and turn it into reality, it, was, it became real. So I, I became obsessed with it. Like I became obsessed with finding as much internet time as I could because at the time, you know, you basically, uh, we're getting internet access, you know, with 60 minutes at a time with free AOL disks. So we would so go around and like take all the neighborhood's free AOL access disks and get access to the internet. And, you know, I, I would dive into this world and these communities and, you know, online I could be anybody. My, the real world didn't matter. Who I was didn't matter. The things that happened to me didn't matter. I could be whoever I wanted to be. I could be an author, I could be a writer, I could be a visionary. And so I did those things. And the internet pulled me out of this hopelessness and the depression. It reestablished, like I was able to bridge the gap and get this whole new identity, had this whole new view of the world. I was able to experience success. And again and again and again, the internet and building websites and, you know, bringing a vision into reality would do nothing but continuously help me in life. I was able to go from the lost kid to being a successful business owner, a writer for entrepreneur. You know, if you go to, with, with entrepreneur, I've got not only written articles about websites, but they're the two of the two out of the top three most popular articles ever seen on, on entrepreneur about right websites. To this day, I became a public speaker. I was able to realize the dreams all because the internet gave me the vehicle to be everything that I dreamed that I could be. It's what made it real. So my objective you know, the reason why I'm so passionate, the reason why I started a design firm built solely around digital strategy, solely around website development and design, is because it's the bridge between taking your company from where 
where it is right now, no matter where it is, and being everything that you imagine it could possibly be. Bridging the gap between dream and reality. And that's what I want to do. My name's Frank Wazetter. I'm a website designer, digital strategist,